Hello. Today, I would like to demonstrate how to deal with past pair reference for integers in Java. This is what you get by default. If you are passing integer parameters, they are always passed by value because Java uses pass by value for all standard data types and integer is a standard data type. So look at this code. I'm passing two integers to function swap and they are all passed by value. So A is copied to N1 and B is copied to N2 as both of them are copied to corresponding formal parameters any change to n1 n2 only affect the formal parameters not the actual parameters this is the traditional uh, pass by value which you get to see even in c language so if i go and run this program i'm going to see the output which is 10 and 20 because we are not talking about changing actual parameters at all and the corresponding memory image looks like this this is where you are talking about uh, Java passing those two parameters by those two parameters are passed by value. So here you can see I am passing this A to N1 and B to N2 initially and then both get the values and T is used to swap so you get the 10 copied into this t and then we are talking about uh, interchanging those two numbers so here i'm going to change n1 to 20 n2 to 10 but you know that doesn't help because at the end we are only changing these two values not the actual parameters so eventually it looks like this so if you go there this is going to be let us see this is gone this is gone and we are going to have something like 20 here and 10 there but all this is uh, means nothing when you come back to main because once you come back to main as you can see here when we print a and b we still get 10 and 20 because as you move into function they are copied into n1 and 2 because Java provides only pass by value for standard data types and there is no way you can ask for pass by reference for example in C we can use pointers in C++ and C sharp we can use reference variables but not so in Java so how do we accomplish that so here is my revisor code where I implement pass by reference by using a separate class so here is my class which contains two variables and a constructor to assign the values and a function called swap which is actually interchanging those two numbers and then two getter methods in order to get value from n1 n2 so this is a very simple class to store two numbers and interchange them and this is how i'm using that look at this piece of code if you see this I'm creating an object with those two values so I'm creating an object of 2 with the 10 and 20 and this is how I pass this object now I'm passing an object not independent integer variables remember when you pass an object it's always passed by reference in Java so this object obj is passed by reference to this parameter nums so num and obj both sorry nums and obj both point to the same object and any change you make to this nums is actually a change to original obj so at the end of this if you go and run this program it is uh, going to give you 20 and 10 because we are interchanging those two numbers inside the object so we pass it the object as parameter to this function 
and inside the function we got them swapped and as a result this 2 is now containing 20 in n1 10 in n2 let's run the program and see what it does and here is the output the output is 20 and 10 there we are so this is the way it displays 2010 now if you look at the the memory image and it goes like this this is the scenario in the memory now as I pass the object obj to num this address of what we have in obj is copied into num so what we are copying is the same as what we have in uh, num I'm sorry what we have in uh, obj is what we copied into num and obj and num both are pointing to the same object so that is what is happening when you call the function by passing obj this num is receiving that address and both obj and num point to the same object now any change you make inside this object in fact here you're going to make a change so this is going to be 20 this is going to be 10 because we are going to swap these two numbers of course I'm using a, a variable internally if you go through this I'm using variable t in order to do the swapping so eventually I'm swapping numbers that are present inside the object so here at the end I'm going to get 20 I'm going to get 10 now this is done by using swap function but as you come back to your main you still see the same values 20 and 10 as I print this n1 and n2 from main I see 20 and 10 so this is how I'm able to interchange those two numbers by putting them inside an object because objects are always passed by a reference by using that particular fact we are able to swap these two numbers so this is a small trick we play and we need to use a separate class for that and inside the class we need these two variables and those two variables are to be swapped so that is uh, the way we get it done okay so thanks for watching